Here at home, the war in Ukraine can mean different things. For each of us, for a local Cincinnati school, it means wondering if numbers or members of their sister school are alive and okay, and how many numbers are left. WWT News 5's Marion Stutz is live at Purcell Marion High School with a closer look at what they're dealing with and the concern that is growing there here. Meredith? Yeah, good. Yeah, good morning to you, Colin. For the past three years, Purcell Marion High School has played a part in Cincinnati's sister program, city program, with car keep. So the past couple of weeks, understandably, have been really hard and stressful for students here as they have been on edge, waiting to see if those students in Ukraine are still alive. So let's take it back a little bit. So the connection started with an idea of a student exchange. Bob Herring is the director of the International Baccalaureate Program and Global Connections Program here at Purcell Marion. He's also the president of the Cincinnati Car Keep Sister City partnership. He and the principal of a school called 116, as it's called in Kharkiv, decided to partner up. In March of 2020, just four days before a Cincinnati group of students were supposed to head to Ukraine, the trip was canceled because of COVID. Since then, the two schools have kept in touch, but since the war started, they've lost touch. Now, members of the National Honor Society here at Purcell Marion are raising donations alongside Matthew 25 Ministries to send to Ukraine. We spoke with students here to hear their perspectives of war affecting kids their age. We're currently learning about World War II, so it feels like we're reliving 100 years ago exactly, and it's kind of hard to witness. It feels like I'm learning actual history right now and learning previous history, and both of the histories were very tragic and devastating to a lot of people. We're all brothers and sisters. You know, we are all connected. No man is an island. Each no man stands alone, the, the traditional poem. Um, so we are, we're connected, and it's, we believe, our duty and responsibility to help those in need. There you go. So because of that, the students are collecting personal care items and hygiene items through the entire Lenten season. So that will be until the middle of April. Reporting live Purcell Marion, Meredith Stutz, WLWT News 5. Meredith, there's a lot going on right now. Does Purcell Marion intend to keep the partnership up with this Kharkiv High School that they have already? Oh, absolutely they do. Right now, of course, the focus is on supporting School 116 in whatever way they can. It's a big high school over there, so whatever they can do, they're trying to do it. But in you know due time, they do hope one day to be able to take that student group here at Purcell Marion to Kharkiv and vice versa to keep that partnership going for many years to come. Back to you. All right, Meredith Such reporting live for us. Meredith, an awesome partnership. Thanks for bringing that story to us.